hello, hello again. This is John Mason. And I want to take this time to speak speak a little bit, well, more than a little bit, about the current state of crazy, the, well, the latest crazy thing coming out of Texas. It's the conspiracies around Jade Helm three, uh, 15. Jade Helm 15. Now, what Jade Helm 15 is, is merely a military exercise which includes our, all our special operations forces, like the Army Special Forces, the Navy SEALs. It's an exercise to have them be more prepared for um, for combat in the desert. Nothing wrong with that. And they're going to be training in Texas. And that's all it is. But the political faction that is supposedly supportive of our military are calling this a terrible, an invasion plan of Texas. Uh, how do you invade your own country? But anyway, the idea is that uh, Jane Helm 15 is merely an attempt by the Obama administration to round up uh, patriots and put them in abandoned Walmart stores that have been converted to concentration camps. It's all that. And... Of course, mostly you, you, you hear this thing over uh, 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 lower wattage FM radio and some crazy blogs, but it's become mainstream. Texas Governor Greg Abbott has mobilized the, uh, the Texas military forces, the State Guard, uh, to monitor Jade Helm 3, uh, 15, sorry, Jade Helm 15, and uh, Mainstream uh, politician, Republican politicians, Ted Cruz, Rick Perry, Louis Gohmert, is actually uh, saying, well, there might be something to it, or, well, people are, are disenchanted with their own government, so therefore they have every right to uh, believe, believe this stuff. But like Daniel Patrick Moynihan said, you're entitled to your own opinions, but not to your own facts. And it's been going on all over the state that Jade Helm 15 is is this plot against the Patriots in Texas. It's taken so seriously that an Army a public relations officer has been attending town hall meetings and explaining what Jade Helm 15 is. It's just a military exercise, nothing more. And the yahoos and the lunatics still refuse to believe that. They're Cleaning tooth and nail, hanging on to their beloved uh, scary conspiracy theories. And these are the same people that the Republican presidential candidates are courting, are going to, in an effort to pick up votes. That is the mainstream of the Republican Party, folks. Lunatics believe in any wacko conspiracy theory. And these are the people we have to resist in order to restore freedom in this country. And, let, and some of them might be members of our own families, like the crazy uncle who, uh, who comes by on uh, family holidays and goes off with too much for Schlimbo. And we all know people like that. And we love them anyway, but still, we have to resist them. We must fight uh, these lunatic conspiracies and the people who uh, propagate them. And most all, more and mostly, the politicians who think try to scrape up a few votes here, a few votes there, or. And the way to do that is to say, yeah, okay, to these crazy conspiracy theories. Okay. I said what I had to say about that. Still, I wish everyone a happy day.